In this video, I'll be showing you how to read piano tablature. When you open up one of my piano tabs, the first thing you'll see at the top of each page is a color-coded keyboard. There's 12 notes on your piano, and each one of these 12 notes occurs one time within each of the seven different colors. Middle C is purple and is located here. The C that is below middle C is green. The next C to the left is brown, and the lowest C on the piano is yellow. The C that is above middle C is orange. The next C to the right is blue. And the C that is above blue is red. The tablatures are constructed with tiles of different colors and widths. Each tile contains three pieces of information. The note that is to be played, where the note is located on the keyboard, and the finger that you'll use to play the note. Timing is determined by the width of the character. Wider tiles are held longer than narrow tiles. If you come across an empty space, it's equivalent to a rest. Nothing should be played. For the width of that empty space, there will be silence. Let's take a look at Bach, Minuet in G. We'll look at the right hand first. The phrasing of the melody is determined by the different widths of each tile. You can see that the four notes that come after the first note are more narrow. Thus, they are played more quickly. The left hand begins with three notes stacked in a column. This means they're played simultaneously. The note that's on the bottom will always be the lowest pitch. When notes are stacked in a column, as we move from the bottom to the top, we're moving from the lowest pitch to the highest pitch, which means on your piano keyboard, we're building from the left to the right. Now let's take a look at Mozart's Sonata in C major. The notes of the left hand are all of the same width, meaning they should be played with steady, even timing. In order to convey the phrasing of the melody, the right hand is constructed with both wide and narrow tiles. Contained within this video is all the information you'll need to be able to play any of the songs from our Tablature library. If you do have any questions, send me an email and I'll quickly respond. Enjoy.